We have breaking news just within the last couple of minutes. We found out this year's Raleigh Christmas Parade is officially back on with some significant changes. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan and I'm Gerald Owens. It's going to look a lot different. City leaders reached a compromise in the last five minutes. There will be a parade without vehicles. We have live team coverage of this major development. Let's begin with Mark Boyle in the WRL Live Center. Mark, this has been off back and now we have confirmation from the Raleigh Merchants Association. The deal is being done. We just got the phone with Jennifer Martin. I'm going to play part of that soundbite right it's here. All right, so it's not the greatest audio quality, but on your screen, here's the graphic. Take this full if we can. So this is what's going to really be different here. The 2023 Raleigh Christmas Parade will continue as planned. Well, sort of. The event will feature marching bands, performers, costumes, characters, horses, dogs, giant balloons, musical acts, and more. The 2023 event will not include motorized vehicles or floats, but still promises to be one of these entertaining events of all ages. So that's the big change. There was some sticking points there on if there would be vehicles or not in this year's Christmas parade. No cars, no vehicles. Things are going to have to get a little creative for the Christmas parade. Shelly Jackson breaking stories right now for us on this topic and speaking with city leaders right now in downtown. Well, Mark, it has been kind of an interesting 24 hours. The parade was canceled yesterday about an hour ago. We learned that there was a compromise being talked about. And then just a few minutes ago, we learned that there will be a parade after all without vehicles. So I had spoken with the mayor earlier this afternoon, and she said that the permit was originally denied because of a couple of factors like the age of the driver and who would inspect those vehicles. But I talked to her about 90 minutes ago, and this is what she said about a potential compromise. Let's look at an unmotorized parade and see if we can make that work. That way we still have the marching bands. We still have the dancers. And so now there's a little under three months for folks who want to be in the parade, who are usually in the parade and drive vehicles to figure out how they want to present their floats in November. Gerald. Certainly is big news for a lot of people. Thank you, Shelley.